Hi there, this is Katie for Rusticate, and this time around I'm going to be showing you how to make a tatted dream catcher. So we are outside this time, and I am in search of willow, because willow is what you traditionally use to make the hoop for the dream catcher. So we are in search of willow. Alright, so this is the pond on the far end of the property, and along the banks of the pond there's a lot of willow that grows naturally. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of willow off of the tree back here, and we're going to use that for the hoop. I'm going to get a couple pieces just in case I need to make more than one. Okay, I'm going to take these back to the house and clean them up, take all the branches and leaves off, and then we'll proceed to make the hoop. So this is one of my willow sticks since I've cleared off the limbs and the leaves. And since it's green, it's very flexible. If you wanted it to be even more flexible, if you soaked it in water for a few days, you could bend it without any worries of it breaking. And once it's dried, then it'll be sturdy and hold whatever shape it's in as it's drying. For this project I'm going to go ahead and use it green so I can do it now instead of having to wait and show you later. Okay so here's one that I've started to bend and ideally for this one because of the size of the doily that I want to make to hang in the middle to be the center of our dream catcher, I want to have the circle seven inches across. So I'm going to work this into that shape. that and I will take a measurement as I go and once I have it in that shape then I'm going to use a twist tie to hold it in place until I can tie some jute or hemp string around it and the hemp string will hold it really securely while it dries. The other option if you don't want to use willow if you don't want to try and be that authentic is you can use an embroidery hoop and that's super easy. This is actually a vintage metal embroidery hoop with a cork liner around the outside so that would work as well and be very cute. You can also if you want to use something as a shape kind of mold for your willow you could always wrap it around the embroidery hoop and let it dry around the embroidery hoop and then it'll turn out to be very nice and round. So since this embroidery hoop is seven inches across I'm gonna go ahead and use it as my template. Now that I have my basic size and dimensions I'm gonna remove the hoop and I've tied one first knot with this is a hemp thread so I've tied my first knot with the hemp thread and then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around I'm just going to tie a knot right there, make sure it's good and secure. Now that we have our basic shape, I'm going to go ahead and cut the willow right here at an angle. Cut this one at an angle as well. And go ahead and reinsert the embroidery hoop so that it can dry around the embroidery hoop. Now that we have our hemp string wrapped around the willow to hold it securely in place, I'm going to take more hemp string and I'm just going to loosely wrap it all around the hoop so that we have something to attach the tatting to. Go ahead and wrap it just like that. Now that I almost have the whole hoop looped with the twine, or the string, I'm going to go ahead and leave the excess on here. I'm going to tie it off, but I'm going to leave it attached because I want to go ahead and use that extra when I'm ready to attach the feathers and the beads. I'm going to loop this around a few more times and then I'll tie it off right there. 